a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. Uh, recently I've been doing a lot of uh, Sasquatch and Bigfoot stuff, so I decided to do another series. Uh, this is going to be my, um, I don't really know what to title it, uh, I guess my Bigfoot and Bigfoot Creature series. Uh, it's about 11 drawings, all of them done uh, in comic book style with watercolor and ink. Uh, this first one is Sasquatch. The big guy, the North American Bigfoot, or whatever you want to call him. Uh, what I've done in this drawing is uh, basically did a lot of research, compilations of what eyewitnesses have uh, said they've seen and whatnot, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, comparing it to some of the more modern uh, or more uh, known uh, footage and witness reports, like the Patterson Gimlin film and whatnot. Uh, anyway, so, yeah, I, I, you know, had a lot of fun with uh, these images, so for the first Sasquatch, I did a lot of research on Wikipedia and found a lot of other really neat cryptid sites where, uh, you know, I researched, and in all reports, they, they, they describe a, a creature that is well over seven, eight feet tall, six to nine hundred pounds, massive chest, long arms, like much, much longer than your average human usually right up uh, past the hips and right down to the knees. Now, of course, large feet, uh, and uh, comparative to the, the upper torso, rather short legs. Uh, they don't really look that short, but when compared to a human, uh, the length would be definitely shorter. So that's what I did. Uh, the color I chose for the creature is, uh, I went with a black. Seems the majority of uh, witnesses, witnesses that report what they see in North America, Canada, and the States and whatnot, they say that they see a dark creature, a black creature, usually black fur, that sort of has a bit of a sheen to it. So in this drawing, uh, I, I set up uh, the creature sort of walking through uh, a space in an open uh, wood forest. A lot of these illustrations are inspired by the work I've done with Snowwalker in the past and Team uh, Zen Yeti. So uh, a lot of bright colors showing you exactly what it is uh, th that I'm trying to, trying to uh, convey in, in the image. Um, with the watercolor, again, a lot of it is timing. Um, once I've inked the drawing, uh, I select my color palette. So I'll have whatever greens I'm going to use for um, the, the trees, uh, the grass, and then you know secondary colors that I'm going to use along with that. And I'll also pick a color for the sky, as well as pick a color for the creature. Uh, usually, you know, three or four different colors go into the creature at different layers. And usually, uh, I, like I said in previous videos, I like to time it all. So it depends if I'm going for a blurred look where the lines sort of mesh into the color coat that's underneath. I, will, uh, I won't wait until the, uh, the first coat is dry before I put it on. If I want to, like you'll see in this drawing with the grass and uh, some of the other, uh, like the hair, what I'll do is I'll wait until it's completely dry and then I will add uh, with a fine liner another coat, like a, a darker version of the, similar, uh, the same color. Just, uh, you know, and I keep doing that and it really does add a lot of depth to it. With the comic book uh, style drawing, I'm not, I'm not just trying to color with four primary colors, I'm trying to use what you see in modern comics and a lot of that is done on computer nowadays so um, they're able to use a lot of different techniques that I don't have access to and I don't I don't really want them I, I like the challenge of you know doing the old school style so again this is my uh, my uh, first of a series of dread fun uh, cryptids uh, all inspired by Bigfoot so I'm gonna do all the the creatures from around the world uh, I've got Sasquatch I got Yeti I've got the Alma, I've got uh, the Yaren, you name it, and uh, uh, creatively I, I take a look at what people see, what they've reported, and then I try to uh, try to do it in a comic book style uh, for all of you guys and all my fans to enjoy. Anyways, I hope you like the drawing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, that's all for now. Dread Fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.